The biggest reason I hesitate to recommend Touch, the classic baseball series based on a manga by Adachi Mitsuru, is the first 24 episodes. Not that they're bad, they're actually pretty good, but they also break a critical expectation of Kisho Tenketsu, a narrative structure used in many anime series. Kisho Tenketsu separates a story into four parts. A story's key, or setup, introduces the setting and characters and offers the audience questions about the characters to be resolved later on. Through the first 24 episodes of Touch, the show develops three questions about its main characters. Will Kazuya fulfill Minami's dream of making it to Koshien? Will Tatsuya realize his full athletic potential? And most importantly, which brother will Minami choose? The last question is standard fare. You'll find this asked in countless stories about high school romance. But Touch answers its most important question early in the show, revealing the mystery that most high school anime would rely on for drama. But rather than ruining the surprise, Minami's revelation refocuses the show's themes into something more unexpected and satisfying, giving Touch a quality that pushes it above most contemporary baseball anime. We learn early on that both Kazuya and Tatsuya are in love with Minami, and because this is a high school anime, she has to choose one. The show could have created an entire series worth of tension by wavering Minami's feelings between Kazuya and Tatsuya, but if you look close enough, you can see that she makes her choice by the fourth episode, with 97 left to go in the series. Everyone in town, including Minami's father, Kazuya and Tatsuya's parents, and Tatsuya himself assumes from the first episode that Minami will marry Kazuya. But Minami makes no such commitment, saying that she likes Tatsuya just as much as she likes Kazuya. Which isn't entirely true, but not in the way you would expect. Though no one but a couple side characters seem to see it at first, Minami knows that Tatsuya is actually the more gifted of the two brothers. Through a series of flashbacks, we watch a young Tatsuya pick up skills before his brother, skills that Kazuya only surpasses with hard work and his brother's unwillingness to cultivate his talent. Because of his nonchalance around sports and school, everyone assumes that Tatsuya is lazy, but Minami knows better. Tatsuya's underachievement is not a reflection of his personality, but a defense mechanism for his younger brother's growth. Had Tatsuya not sacrificed his natural abilities for his brother's success, Kazuya would have most likely grown up in his older brother's shadows. Instead, Tatsuya chooses to fall back, confident that he can handle losing everyone's respect as long as his brother grows up happy. That is, of course, until they both realize they're in love with Minami. But Minami only loves Tatsuya, and despite this going against the town's expectations, there are many clues in the opening episodes that affirm this. In one episode, Tatsuya and Minami model for a wedding company, leaving him awestruck seeing her in a dress, and her lovestruck staring at a Polaroid of their fake nuptial. In another, Minami enthusiastically kisses Tatsuya from the steps of his bunk bed, but freezes up when Kazuya goes in for his kiss when they find themselves alone in their study room. Most obviously, Minami tells Tatsuya twice that she likes him, though he passes it off the first time as a trick and the second time as a fever dream. And to the show's credit, it does a good job of disguising both admissions as insincere. But Minami never says that she's joking. So why does Minami choose Tatsuya? Okay, it's uh... Minami's father tells Tatsuya that his wife chose to marry him over an obviously superior rival, suggesting that Minami might prefer a project over a finished product. While Tatsuya is certainly still in development and Kazuya close to fully realized, this answer seems too superficial considering Minami's behavior around the boys. Though she's smart and beautiful and pretty much perfect, Minami does not fall into the romantic lead archetype. Beyond her intelligence, she excels in athletics and social functions, demonstrating a strong voice that she uses to influence her peers. She has no problem speaking her mind, especially to Tatsuya, and it makes sense that she would enjoy molding Tatsuya into the perfect boyfriend or husband. But from the earliest episodes, Minami defends each brother's individuality, repeating her mantra, Kachan is Kachan, Tachan is Tachan. Minami wants to see the fully realized Tatsuya without changing anything that makes him Tatsuya. Though the fully realized Tatsuya may look an awful lot like his brother, there's a reason why Minami wants him instead of Kazuya. Her dream of going to Koshin means everything to Kazuya, and throughout the show he treats Minami's happiness like a necessity for his well-being. Because he expects that Minami will choose Kazuya, Tatsuya simply treats Minami like a friend, sometimes helpful, sometimes hurtful, but always in equal standing with himself. 
Kazuya loves Minami because he needs Minami, whereas Tatsuya loves Minami for no other reason than that she is Minami, the beautiful, intelligent, and strong girl he grew up alongside as a child. And for a self-respecting girl like Minami, that supports a much stronger role than that of caretaker, which she would become if she were to choose Kazuya. Minami chooses Tatsuya because Tatsuya takes responsibility for his own self-esteem. And that projects a confidence that Kazuya could never live up to. Once we know Minami's decision, it's hard to tell what the show will be about going forward. Because so much of the first 24 episodes focuses on Kazuya and Tatsuya's athletic similarities and each brother's affection for Minami, it's easy to assume that Touch is going to be about two baseball-playing brothers fighting for the object of their affection. But Tatsuya and Kazuya never play baseball with or against each other, except for a one-off sandlot battle that Tatsuya wins to the surprise of everyone but Minami. And even when Tatsuya gets recruited to join the baseball team, he chooses to join his school's boxing team to make sure Kazuya gets all of Minami's attention. Unless Minami encourages him to fight, Tatsuya always lets Kazuya win, if only because Tatsuya knows that he's better than Kazuya when he makes a genuine effort. The critical relay race scene demonstrates this, with Tatsuya outpacing his brother even though he woke up only a few minutes before he was asked to run for Minami's team, and losing only because he didn't know he had to run an extra half lap around the track. So when Kazuya proposes fighting for Minami's heart, Tatsuya agrees, but there's no reason to believe that Tatsuya is willing to compete against his brother for Minami. There's also no reason to believe that Minami has any interest in this fight when she's already made her choice. Touch would have been a perfectly fine show if it decided to show the brotherly battle for Minami's hand, but nothing suggests this fight will actually happen. Which means that we're now 24 episodes in and have no clue which direction this show is taking. But don't worry, the very next episode puts the show back on track.